Hello, today I will show you a very quick information. Uh, actually, it will be a bash script that I wrote for the open with which that is working in Debian 11 because I don't like to waste your time. And I already recorded a video for open source, so there is a more detailed explanation step by step how everything is working. And here I will run the script in the beginning and then I will actually describe the script step by step and I will tell you exactly what it's doing. And the situation is actually the same, so the open switch is starting before the networking service in Debian 11, so this is wrong and it should be changed. The same situation. I don't know why the developer did it, because we have system D for a long time, so the services should a different uh, behavior and this is something that it shouldn't have a place so I don't understand it I already reported it but there is no answer from them so just I decided that I would provide you a solution and you will be able to make it work without wasting your time without asking without reporting without you know Waiting, waiting your time without waiting for the developer uh, just because we don't know when they will fix the patch and um, where there will be a new release of this uh, package in the repository. So that's the reason I decided to make it work. So I'm going to switch to that terminal. So, okay, here we go. Um, Next information. This is the clean Debian 11 so cut CP on release, and you can see it is here. So if I will try to run sudo apt install, just like that, it will not work because there is no even the sudo sudo. Just like that hyphen. That's the password for the root. It should be there. We are in the root directory, so if touch the OBS sh file, and then we are going to add a permission to execute this. And after that, we are doing this. So, apt update and apt. Upgrade, yes, and also APT remove nano and also why I suppose and APT this way and it should do the job there we go it's done beam obs page and now i will just copy the whole script there we go and explanation so here you are checking There's something wrong. Okay, so yeah, this is correct. Um, now in the beginning, it's checking their privileges and they have a sudo or are you running the script of root? Then it's doing the upgrade, it's installing the sudo, and then it's changing the sudo group to admins and. After that, and is adding a no password uh, option to be able to switch to root or perform a command without asking for a password each time. And it displaying the content of the etc sudo. Then it adding the group admins. It adding this group to my user and displaying the information about my user. Then it's checking that the system handles the virtualization and if the 
value is zero, it will not work, but if it's not zero, it is bigger than zero, then it's setting the host name, it's installing bridge utils open v switch common and open v switch switch and firewall D. Then it's configuring the firewall D and it's restarting the firewall D. It's checking the status of the open v switch. Then it's creating and it's adding actually to the ETC network interfaces where you have defined network interfaces by default in Debian 11 and in Debian 10.2, um, the network interfaces. So it's adding for the ENPS, ENP0 S25 uh, for this physical adapter, the DNS. Then it's adding the configuration for the virtual bridge. It's displaying the interface file. Then we are replacing um, um, and we are commenting out here some values before network target and path of network packets in uh, open v switch switch service. We are also commenting out before in uh, OBS v switch D, so before network target networking service, the same here for OBS DB server and um, service and at the end, in this OBS DB server, we are adding additionally networking service at the end, this entry to tell this uh, service to start up networking service. So then we are reloading the daemon because the configuration changed in the service file. So each time when you are changing something in the service, you need to reload it to make it visible. Then we are restarting those services. We are adding the virtual bridge. We are showing the status of the virtual bridge. We are adding the interfaces, the physical and the virtual to the zone public in firewall D, reloading the firewall D, listing all those settings. And we are adding the port BRX and P0 and rebooting the server. So, this is it. So if the value, if there is no virtualization, it will break. And if there is a virtualization, if the number is above zero, it will work. We'll do the whole script. Okay, so we are saving it now. And I will just run it. OBS. Ha. Attach and it should go. Everything should be done. Is doing the job. It's running. And here we go. It's rebooted now. And what we can do, we can now show the um, configuration of the micro decruiter should give me a second here we go and if I will go there and it should show the configuration here and the IP address I mean the, the DHCP server actually assigned the IP address for the machine and we can run it and we can log the without any issues. So we need to wait a little bit. We can see the entrance is here. And you can see I'm just checking the ping for this. And you can see now it's connecting to 103. So all what I have to do, I have to reboot the server. We try to connect once again, start over place okay and here we go however if i will do this and try to do i it should switch and obs vftl show it should show the virtual bridge and the interface with vrx for the virtual bridge and also the physical port 
EMP0825 APA. You can see this exactly. And IPR and the default one. And that is all actually. And you can see the script is working correctly. So you can use it. I will put it in my GitHub account and it will be accessible and it will be in the description. That is all actually. So thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.